During team of the season, U7 Buy will be offering up to 12% off on coins throughout the duration of team of the season. If you want to get your 12% off, make sure you use code Viper at checkout. But for now, let's get into the video. What's going on guys, Viper here and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Today, EA dropped Dayan Kulisevsky team of the season moments. One of my favourite players in real life. One with a serious amount of potential. If you guys remember, last year we had a Future Stars card. That was absolutely ridiculous. He has a rule breakers this year as well, playing for Juventus, which isn't as good. Obviously, now he plays for Tottenham and he's having a great, great season or half season since he joined in January. Card is quite cheap to do. It's going to cost you an 85 rated, 84 and 83. Chemistry requirements are quite high on it though. But this looks to be a great card. Six foot one, high medium work rates, left footed, four star, four star, 94 pace, 93 dribbling, 90 shooting, 86 passing, that should be about 90, 83 physical and 60 defending. Now, being, you know, six foot one, I'm hoping they've given him a good agility and balance. Because I'm a bit worried that because he's a bit taller, they've ner nerfed that a little bit, you know, which could be an issue. But with it being team of the season, fingers crossed they haven't. Let's have a look. Agility and balance is really nice. So he's got 96 acceleration and 93 sprint speed, 93 attack positioning, 91 finishing, 89 shot power, 90 long shots, 88 volleys and 78 penalties. He's then got 87 vision. With 86 crossing, 90 short pass, 82 long pass, and 92 curve. 93 agility with 90 balance, 91 reactions, 94 ball control, 93 dribbling, and 91 composure. Defensive stats aren't actually that bad. So if you want to play him as a right wing back or a left wing back, you can do that. And then also, if you want to play him as a right mid or left mid in the 3-5-2, he's got some defensive qualities there that will make him okay in that position. Absolutely. Going on to his physical now as well. He's got 80 jumping, 93 stamina, which is really nice. 83 strength and 73 aggression. Chemistry style for this card. Um, looking at it, you know, if you want to play him as a centre mid as well, you could do that. And I'll look at something that does passing and defending. Um, but as we're going to be playing him as a striker, I would probably go somewhere near a Hawk. Um, his pace is already really good, but you still want to boost it. I'll either go for a Hawk or an Engine. Now, for me, the kind of player he reminds me of is quite a powerhouse player. Um, quite powerful, quite aggressive. So that's why I want to go for the Hawk. And another reason for that is he's got really good curve and we boost up the long shots and shot power there. Both up to 99, so his long shots should be absurdly good. He goes up to 99 acceleration with 98 sprint speed. So it's 98 pace, essentially. He goes up to 98 attack positioning with 96 finishing, 99 shot power and 99 long shots. Goes up to 90 jumping, 88 strength, and 83 aggression. That's a really good upgrade to his physicals there as well. I do think you could also consider a marksman. Uh, but I think a hawk to max out the pace is important. And that is why I've gone for that. Looks to be a great card. Let's get into a few games of champs and see how we get on. All right, guys. Into the first game we go with Dayan Kulisevsky. I'm really, really excited to use him. I hope he plays well in game. I'm a bit concerned that he might not because of his height and his body type. But... Um, Really liked his rule breakers in the early stages of the game. I really, really liked his future stars last year. It was one of my most used cards last year. Um, he was really, really good in the pro scene as well. So, fingers crossed. Let's get into the game and see how he performs. Gameplay feels absolutely awful, by the way. Um, just, just to let you guys know. Right, here's Kulu already. Sprint boost. Great sprint boost on him. Lateral. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I think they've nerfed finesse shots. I can't lie. Um, so maybe finesse shots aren't the way to go, potentially. Good play here. Kulisevsky's there. Good sprint boost from him again. Showed a bit of physical there against Pepe. He got lucky there to get back. Oh, hello. He's offside, isn't he? Yeah, I'll tell you something, though. He feels really quick, which is a big positive, because I was a bit worried also that because of his uh, height, um, he wouldn't feel as quick. Sprint boost again. Oh, look at that sprint boost. Kulisevsky. Oh, my God. How's that gone in? Okay. Okay. He's got that glitchy shooting that only a few players have on the game, like Messi, Ronaldo. Um, and that's about it, really. And R9. Oh my God, this gameplay feels so strange. Here he is again. Man, his sprint boost is unbelievable. Oh, Kulu. Kulu, stop it. Oh, my God. He feels insane. Come on in, Kulu. Have a finesse shot. Finesse shots are stinky on him. Um, finesse shots are stinky. 
I've got to say that. I've got to be real with you guys. Finesse shots don't seem the best on him. But that could be because they've nerfed them. And we'll try a few more throughout this game to just make sure. I think they're a lot... Oh, I was going to say, I think they're a lot better off skill moves. But if you red time them, then they're not going to be better off skill moves, are they? This guy is all over the shop as well. Kulu with a shot cancel. Kulusevsky's in. Kulusevsky off the bar. He, he hits his shots with so much power. Obviously, he's got 99 shot power as well. Similar to Akinfenwa. Akinfenwa hits him so hard. That's yours, Deckers. Very nicely done. Or Ruben Diaz, even. That was actually a good pass there. Nice. Sprint boost again. Kulusevsky. He's too fast and too strong. Kula. Oh, that's unlucky. He's a unit, guys. I, th I think um, early thoughts, 15 minutes in, is get this guy done. Um... And if you can't make him into your starting 11. This card is a super sub of dreams. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him, man. He is cold. This guy's going to leave this game to another game. All right, guys. Game number two with Dayan Kulosevsky. This guy's got a decent team. He's got a few rule breakers in there, which is interesting. Rudiger and Cornet. He's got team of the season, Son. He's got Baby Sadorf. That's a weird team, that, isn't it, really? Shalaba still, he's got Livermento, who I do like in real life. Um, but isn't very good on the game, if we're being honest, for a team of the season card. But yeah, game number two is underway. What a first game that was from him, man. He just feels so good on the ball. For somebody that, that you know, is quite tall, having that good dribbling is kind of ridiculous. Good pass to Bruyne. Oh, how's Kulu not got on the end of that? He's got to be touching that somehow. But yeah, great, great start, you know. Very impressed so far. Um... And we'll see how he goes this game. But I don't think we're going to have too many issues. And as I said, if you can't fit him into your starting 11, even as a super sub, is that's a great card to have. And he is relatively cheap, considering. You look at a card like this, you know, and I know it's Harry Kane. But it makes you think, why did they price Harry Kane so high? Because Kulisevsky is arguably better at a few things. Is he on? He looked on to me. He did look on to me, but there you go. He was not. <clears throat> Yeah, great start for the man. Great start for the man. And I'm a massive fan of him in real life. I, I wish United signed him. I think Tottenham have got a serious baller on their hands here um, in real life. And we'll see how he performs tonight in the North London derby as well. But I think he's got... I think there's a crazy stat about him. He's got the most assists um, in 2022, I want to say. Is that right? Maybe that's right. Maybe that's wrong. You guys let me know in the comments. Uh, this guy doesn't seem like a bad player, by the way, so we have to make sure we stay focused. Good pass in there. De Bruyne. Gonna go on the inside there. Okay, we shouldn't have. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, this game does make me wonder why I play FIFA sometimes. As if he scored off that. Oh my god, how's he missed that? He, he almost just scored off, like, my players getting stuck in, in each other. Unbelievable. Right, De Bruyne. Kulisevsky. Sprint boost. Man, his sprint boost is nuts. Nice. Oh, this is good football, this. Really nice football. Kulisevsky's in the box. He's going for the shot cancel. Kulisevsky! Oh, he's got to score that. That's unbelievable from Kulu. I can't lie. Just missing the finish there. Just missing the finish. Right, let's try a long bang with him. Bangs it! Kulisevsky will take goal! Man, this is a card. This is a card. This is a card. I'm so glad he's playing this well. Um, because he deserves it, man. What a player, IRL. What an absolutely brilliant player. But, you know, you, you can see what you're getting from the card. He's got good long shots. Not good finesse shots, by the looks of it. I'm going to try and get a few more off. Oh, man. Hulu. Oh, I keep reading them. There's something wrong with the gameplay right now. I, I don't exactly know what it is. Um, but it's been like it since... Uh, Premier League tots. And the gameplay just feels like I, I I take a lot of pride out of being in control. Um and it's really hard to get control of games at the moment. Hulu. Oh. I must say, like, all things considered, you know, he might not have the best finesse shots, but, and that's because I think they've nerfed them. The only person I can do finesse shots with now is uh Messi. Um so maybe they did nerf the finesse shots. I think it would make sense. It's a bit late into the game to really nerf them, but there you go, I suppose. Easy to defend this, I hope. Got all our bodies back. This guy does seem like a decent player, though. 
Good at keeping the ball. Really nice at keeping the ball, in fact. A good left stick dribbling from the man. Good defending there, though. Son. Kulisevsky. Cantona. We're going to wait for that. We're going to wait for it. Cantona's found it. Kulisevsky's in. Kulisevsky. What the hell, man? They've done something to chip shots as well, I swear to you guys. They've also, I don't know if you guys know this, they've changed um, free kicks. And free kicks are now broken as hell. Um, you can score them from essentially anywhere. Is he going to do a chip? And his chip goes past Allison. I don't understand, guys. I don't understand. But we're not going to complain. Uh, Kulisevsky has to score that chip. It's just the game being broken there. I, d I don't know what the patch done to the game, but it definitely ruined it in, in, in a lot of ways. You know, the game was already pretty bad as, as it is. Um, but they've done some things to it that are very, very questionable on the last patch. So, Son. This guy's actually a really good player, though. I've got, I've got to give him some credit. Uh, probably in this game as well, when we get to half time, I'll just bring back some highlights. Nice De Bruyne. He goes Cantona. Cantona are doing awful things. I can't get any control of this game, though, because I, I don't know why. Kulosevsky. Kulosevsky. Oh, that's unlucky. This guy's really good at defending and really good at counter attacking. I'll give him some props. And good. Wow! And good at left stick dribbling. Really good at left stick dribbling, to be fair. That's going to be a goal game for him, isn't it? Oof, unlucky. Sweaty game, this one, though, guys. Sweaty game. Decent player. He's actually whipping that as well as a goal. Oof. Oh, I could have said you've got to do better with that. Look at this guy's left stick dribbling. I feel like I'm playing a demon here. Kulisevsky's running again. We're going to look for it again. Cantona, can he find it? Oh, he's battling with Rudiger. Soon to be a Real Madrid player. But no, can't, can't get it going there at all. What? Oh, this guy's having a nightmare. Look at that. Nice. Son. Kulisevsky. Drives back in there. Kulisevsky. Oh, that's good defending. Fair play to this lad. He's a good defender. Really good defender. I'm tempted to keep you with me for the entire game because this is going to be like a really entertaining game, I think. All right, here we go. He's reading the sprint boost. Right, Kulisevsky. Kulisevsky! Oh, his long shots are really good. Not his finesse long shots. His normal finesse shots are really... If I green that, that's probably a goal. Um, so his normal finesse shots just aren't good. Um, but just doing long shots with him generally... Seems to be working really well. Nice from Son there. Don't know why Kulu didn't run there. I didn't, don't know why he didn't run. Good half though. Good half. Fun game of FIFA this one. Nice from Deckers. Keep moving the ball. Kulusevski. Sprint boost is unbelievable on this card. Kulusevski. Oh my god. That's going to be a gut. I rematch some highlights. Nice, Kulu. Oh, it's beautiful from Kulusevski. Oh, it's an absolutely wonderful goal from Kulusevski. Unbelievable. 2-2. Two, two. Kulu again. Oh, my word. Oh, what a goal that is from Kulusevski again. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, he's in again. He's in again. Kulisevsky. Oh, man, it's a hat-trick. Unbelievable performance from the man. All right, guys. So, review done on Kulisevsky. A few things I want to say straight away. Let's get the negatives out of the way. There's one big negative that I think you will be able to solve with a chemistry style. Um, but his left stick dribbling is a bit janky. Um, it's not the best. He doesn't really, you know, once you're moving on the left analog, he's not too responsive on it. He's okay, but he's not very responsive. Um... He's a lot more of a getting behind kind of powerful striker or winger. I do think he'd make a really good right mid, left mid in a 3-5-2. And even a wing back in a five back formation. Um, in terms of attacking, he's unreal. Great sprint boost, great power, good strength and good body type to really hold off centre backs. Um, and the sprint boost that he has also really allows you to get beyond centre backs and use your power once you're shoulder to shoulder with them to hold off the defender, which is really nice. Great long shots, poor finesse shots, but good finishing as well. And his passing general link-up play is really good. Um, and I have to say his dribbling just isn't bad. 
It's just his left stick tight dribbling, which doesn't really work too well. And another big positive of the card, he does feel the pace he is. He feels very, very fast. Um, and I was a bit worried that he wasn't going to because of his frame, but that wasn't an issue at all. He felt really, really quick, which is nice. We're going to go through now, guys, and rate his stats out of 10. Pace, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. As I just said, he felt really, really fast. I have to value him quite high there because most players that feel, you know, that are quite tall don't feel their pace uh, usually. But he does have good agility and balance, so that's probably helping him also. Shooting, it's going to be an 8 out of 10. Good long shots, good finishing, but poor finesse shots. I do really like the chemistry style we've got on him here as it really does boost up the things that I want to boost. It's just a shame his finesse shots aren't as good as I was expecting. If his finesse shots were better, be closer to a 9 out of 10, maybe a 9.5 out of 10. But his shooting is still really good. Uh, passing, I'm going to give a 7.5 out of 10. He's good at link-up play. His double X's are good. His free balls are okay. Not the best, but they're okay. And didn't really get to try any crosses with him. But passing on this card is definitely above average. Um, and you can definitely utilize this in a good way as well. And he'll be good in a multitude of positions. Because his passing is actually really good as well. Um, dribbling now is going to be an 8 out of 10. Sprint boost, um, shot cancels. Uh, the only issue you're going to have with him is he doesn't have the left stick turning that you'd expect from somebody with dribbling stats like that. He does feel a little bit heavy there, but I do still really like his dribbling. I can still utilize the sprint boost really well with him. Um, and, you know, the shot cancels are very, very useful in the box, and he's really good at them. You'll see in the gameplay how good he is at them. And physicals, I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. He has a lot of strength, and you can feel that in game. Obviously, the jumping is basically useless because of his head inaccuracy. Aggression, couldn't really feel that in game, even though we boosted it up by 10 up to 83. And the stamina is also really good and does allow you to play him in any position you want. Top position for me is going to be as a striker. Um, and then I would go for right mid, left mid in a 3-5-2. I'll go for a centre mid also. And then wing back positions in a five back. I think he'd be really, really useful. Good off the bench as well, I'd imagine. I'd imagine he'd be a really, really good super sub. Brilliant in game, guys. I think you should go pick him up. I'm going to rate him an overall of a 9 out of 10. Value, I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. He's really, really cheap to do. The fodder being so low right now, I think this is a must pick up. But guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell so you don't miss a player review. But guys, this is going to be it from me for now, so take care.